Hello, good people, a warm welcome. I'm your host, Mr. T. It brings me joy to be presenting to you practice video number two under the series on Euclidean geometry, grade 10. Please get a pen and a paper and try to attempt to answer the questions before we reveal the solutions. Without any further ado, let's get straight into the first question. In our first question, we're told that in triangle AB, the side AB is parallel to DF. Calculate with reasons the sizes of all the angles indicated by small letters. The point of departure here is to start from the known. What is it that we know as a statement of fact? We are told that AB is parallel to DF. Mentioning of parallel lines, you must remember three things. Co-interior angles, alternate angles, and corresponding angles. Remember the word fun from grade 8. So, having spoken about that, immediately you should recognize that the angle Z is equal to the angle 80 degrees. Why? Because of that letter F. And therefore, you can write a statement and say Z is equal to 80 degrees. The reason for that is we are dealing with corresponding angles and we've got to mention the parallel lines AB parallel to DF. We move on to the following. In this triangle here, the triangle EDF, we immediately recognize that the angle 8x, that is an exterior angle. And we know from theory that the exterior angle of any triangle is equal to the sum of the two opposite interior angles. And therefore, as a statement, I know that 8x has to be equal to 80 degrees plus 4x. Reason for that, exterior angle of a triangle. Solving for x, we're going to get 4x is equal to 80 degrees and getting our x value to be 20 degrees. Now that we know that x is equal to 20 degrees, we now want to calculate our y. But I'm going to make use of the straight line DEF. We can see that 8x plus y must give us 180 degrees, and that's from theory. Adjacent angles on a straight line add to 180. So my first statement would be y plus 8x must give me 180 degrees. The reason for that is adjacent angles on a straight line. But we know that our x value, we got it to be x is equal to 20 degrees. So immediately, I can substitute that x value, the 20 degrees, in place of x so that I have the following equation. y plus 8 times 20 degrees is equal to 180 degrees. Solving for y, I get my y to be 180 degrees minus 160 degrees, resulting in a y value of 20 degrees. So now we have calculated the three unknowns. We now want to move on to the next question. In our next question, we are told that in the sketch below, KPMN is a parallelogram, ON bisects the angle KNM, and OM bisects the angle NMP. Right at the bottom of that diagram, we see that we have been given instruction to say, let N2 be equal to X and M2 be equal to Y show that NOM is 90 degrees. So I'm going to start off by labeling what I need to label on the actual diagram. So it's important for you to be able to translate the words into a diagram. So you need to populate whatever has been given in statements and to see if it appears on the diagram. If it's not marked on the diagram, you've got to mark it. It's easier for you to see a picture than to read words. So I'll start by labeling N2 and M2 with X and Y, as you can see. The next statement is the statement KPM is a parallelogram, and I indicate immediately by showing that opposite sides are parallel. Another statement which is important is the statement ON bisects KNM. And if it does bisect, it means that N1 has to be equal to X. N1 and N2 are equal from that statement ON by 6 KNM. That is also true with the statement OM by 6 
NMP. It means M1 must be equal to Y as well. Now I've used all my statements and I have a clearer picture from the diagram. I can write the following statement to say, because I'm dealing with parallel lines, opposite sides being parallel, I can state that NOM, that angle NOM is equals to 180 minus X plus Y. And I'm working in the following triangle, that triangle right there. So I'm trying to find for you that angle right there using interior angles of a triangle. So the reason that I'm using there is interior angles of a triangle. So now I know the value of NOM, but we need to prove that it's 90 degrees. So simplifying, I can move on and say now using parallel lines that the whole angle N, the whole angle N, and I'm talking about that whole angle N, which is 2X, and that whole angle M, which is 2Y, those two, if I add them together, they must give me 180 degrees. And the reason for that is that I'm using co-interior angles. So I can start by writing the following statement to say the angle N plus the angle M is equal to 180 degrees. The reason for that is co-interior angles. Our parallel lines is KL, KM parallel to PM. We then simplified by substituting our unknown values X and Y. So we can say X plus X plus Y plus Y, that should give us 180 degrees. That will be equivalent to 2x plus 2y, which is equal to 180. Now, we can divide that whole statement by 2 to simplify it so that we get x, y, x plus y is equal to 90 degrees. But we know that x plus y, we have it in our initial statement, and therefore our next step will involve us substituting in place of x plus y, we can sub in 90 degrees, and therefore we get NOM is equal to 180 degrees minus 90 degrees. Simplifying that, we get our NOM being equal to 90 degrees, which was the required answer. I hope you enjoyed that. Until next time, signing out, it's been Mr. T. Bye-bye.